BonnieBrayFlowers.com. They're family owned and locally owned since 1941 and a sponsor of this show. And we thank them, BonnieBrayFlowers.com. All right, it's, it's like politics. You, you like to give equal time, Democrats, Republicans, independent. Well, they don't to independents. That's a whole other story. But, uh, you know, and here in the Centennial State, we like to give equal time, CSU, CU. Unfortunately, the Buffs don't have a head football coach, so we will hold off on that and interview CU's head football coach when they get a coach hired. Until then, we will talk to the head coach of the Colorado State Rams, Jim McElwain, kind enough to join us tonight on the show. Coach, how are you? Hey, we're doing great. Just, uh, you know, I'm actually kind of excited here. I just got off the road and, and uh, came home, saw my family. It's the first time I've seen the Broncos play. So <laughs> get an opportunity to see Peyton Manning. And uh, former CSU Ram Joel Dreesen catches the first touchdown pass. Uh, and you know what? Even more so, as a heck of a block he had down in the red area where he buried that defensive end. And you know that that that's so important, man, the, the play of those tight ends. And a uh, a local Colorado kid from Fort Morgan High School, um, Jim McElwain, head coach of the CSU Rams, joining us tonight. So, coach, how is how have you been embraced now after your first season at, at CSU? You're on the recruiting trail. You said you were on the on the road. Um, what is it like now when you're getting into kids' homes? Well, you know what, it's, it's been great. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been able to develop a lot of relationships. And, and it's, it's really been great, you know, the very first week out, obviously, getting out in the state, in, you know, in the state of Colorado and, and being able to go see a lot of really good players. And, and of course, we, you know, in the spring, we sent our staff, um, you know, to every single high school that plays football in the state. And, uh, you know, I think now going back and, and seeing now some of those guys again, now it's really been really been good. And, and, you know, when we're able to get outside, you know, the CSU name really carries a lot of credibility, and, and it's really been good. Coach Travis Heath here, quick question about, um, you know, cause when you took the job, everyone knew it was going to be a process. You knew that. But you're a competitive guy and you want to win. So as you reflect back on year one of this process, how does it compare to where you thought you would be? Well, you know, it, it was awful hard. You know, I, I think I've only had one other losing year in my in my entire career, and that's including as a player, and, and that was a year with the Raiders. So that really doesn't count, okay? So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, obviously the win-losses were, were something that, that, you know, are unacceptable. But I will say this, in, in all the years of coaching, it might have been, and, and I mean this, probably as, as uh, rewarding a year, as I've ever had, because I saw a group of young men uh, come together and 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 stay in and fight, and and you know what, finished strong, and and started to really kind of get what what it's going to take uh, for us to have a great program, and 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 those, there were some real positives with some good young guys get on the field for us, and and you know what, I'm proud of our seniors too. They really hung in there and fought. Colorado State head football coach Jim McElwain joining us tonight on Mile High Sports. Jim, as far as the recruiting trail, I know you can't get into specifics about that, uh, but what states – I mean, you, you, you've you always said you want to conquer Colorado. Outside uh -huh. of Colorado, what states do you all target? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. We're, I, I think you've got to put it in kind of two phases, and, and one obviously is, is, you know, building a barrier around your own geographic area, and, and we're really trying to do that, and – and then from there, we're, we're truly prospecting. And what I mean by that, we've got, you know, multiple coaches, both in California and Texas, um, you know, where we're, you know, knocking, going door to door. And then uh, a lot of the other places through pre-existing relationships, you know, we're a little bit up in Oregon and Washington, of course, uh, you know, through the Rocky Mountain area as well. And, and then, uh you know, with some connections we've had uh, down in the deep south, uh, we've got some uh, good prospects that, that, that we're looking at down there that are going to take visits up here. This will be the first time they've ever seen mountains. And uh, so that will be exciting for them. And uh, so what we've done is, you know, kind of referral, guys calling, you you know, that kind of thing, and take a look and, and, and look at the video and, and, and then go after them. So that's kind of what we've been doing. Coach, 
you know, in the year 2012, we always hear a lot about, you know, facilities when it comes mm-hmm. to college football. And obviously some big news during the season, you find out about the new stadium, the new facility. How important do you think that that's going to be? And maybe how important has it already been in your efforts to recruit kids to Colorado State University? You know, it's been huge. I, I can't tell you. And, and, you know, you really can't put a price tag on it either, you know, from, from what you're getting. Because what it does is it shows a true commitment from the university level, from the athletic department, and obviously all the people involved. And, and any time, you know, you can see that moving forward and see the commitment and, and the direction that a program's going, it's just so important. And, you know, we're really excited about it. And you know what? We're excited about it not just for football. We're excited about it for the whole university. It'll be it'll be a great, great venue and, and a lot of different things and, and a lot of uses that we can get out of it. But Jim, when you talk about the support from the school, you're talking about Tony Frank, the president, on down. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I, and one thing that really, really, really hit me when 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 we looked into this job was the the total family atmosphere from everything, you know, and and people pulling in the same direction, and and you know, you talk about the president, the administration, the faculty. You know, there's just so many good things that you have, and and when you have everybody pulling in that same direction, you know, you got a chance, and and uh, obviously investing in in what we're doing and, and putting putting resources behind it, you know, that that just doubles, and and you know, all that momentum is is strong. I can't say enough good things about all the people uh, here at CSU. Coach, what do you want to see next year from your football team? Obviously, it's a process. We always talk about, you know, you having a chance to get your own recruits in, and that all takes time. But as this as this progression moves forward, what do you want to see out of your team next season? Well, you know what I want us to see? You know, now that they understand what the off season's all about and the time and commitment it takes, I'm really right now looking forward to, uh, you know, the guys have been really working hard here, finals weeks next week, and then they'll be off on a break, and, and I'll be really excited to see how they come back because that'll show you a true commitment as to you know where guys are and, and you know that's what great programs do. But uh, you know as we look forward to next year and and um, you know and I know you can say you know getting the recruits in and this and that, but but you know it's my responsibility to get the guys here you know uh, playing better too and and because uh, there, there's a lot of committed guys here. There's a lot of guys who really care about Colorado State really care about being a Ram and and you know I look at it as an exciting adventure but uh, at the same time there's a lot of people out there that are counting on us and, and you know I know our guys will really learn to play hard they, they finally kind of got that towards the end and and uh, you know the way they're thinking is just a little bit better every day. Colorado State head football coach Jim McElwain tonight on Mile High Sports. Jim I, I was leaving the basketball game Saturday and driving back to Denver with, with a friend of mine, and he turned to me and and said, "Have you heard about CSU playing Alabama next year?" Uh huh. And I hadn't heard about that. Can you confirm, deny, tell me to beat it, or a, a, am I hearing things? No, you know what? Uh, it's an opportunity, and um, so this is going to happen. This it, is uh, very much so can happen, and. Uh, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, from an opportunity standpoint, I think it's important that our guys see kind of what it's like, you know, to be, you know, at, at arguably the, the best program in the country, uh, play against the best players. I think it'll be great for us for the off season, um, and, and I think there will be some really valuable lessons. And, and you know what? At the end of the day, I kind of got an idea what they do down there in uh, – <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm really looking well, forward to the opportunity of taking our squad down there. I really am, and and uh, you know, as I say, uh, you know, we'll go play anybody, and uh, I, I think that's something that's really exciting. We we've got some really good things schedule wise coming up. You know, we've got home and home coming up here with the University of Minnesota. Um, obviously, the the game that uh, you know is really good for I think everybody is is you know the game right there at Mile High and 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 playing the guys up the road and I think all of those are good so I think strength of schedule is something that that's really important and you know what's going to help you in recruiting too yeah uh, when Mike told me that I almost drove drove off the road in excitement because yeah. I'm fr- I'm from down south 
I've been to Bryant Denny twice. Um, uh, I saw Ole Miss beat Alabama down there one time, and I thought the end of the world was going to happen from their end. <laughs> I'm not sure it didn't. Yeah, well, it was the it was the weekend that Alabama dedicated the Bear Bryant Museum. Oof, so it was really bad timing, and uh, it made for a really fun night from my end. But uh, so yeah, I I've already been looking at plane flights. So I think yeah, I'm gonna... it, it, it uh, you know what we're 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 really excited about all those opportunities, and and you know I. I I look at this in a lot of different ways, but you know what? There is going to be a time where, you know, Colorado State's going to be a household name and, and be a household name nationally. And these are the kind of things we have to do, and, and, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Well, think big or, you know what, get out of the way. That, 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 that I, I just like hearing that from CSU instead of, Saying, "Oh, we're 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 happy where we are." I, I think that's yeah. what Jack Graham has brought to Colorado State, in, in that people are hearing that, it, being with CSU and CU people last night before the game, having drinks and dinner, and hearing people talking about doing big things, thinking big. That's what Jack Graham has brought to to the athletic department. Well, and I got to tell you that vision. Um that he has and, and that Tony Frank has, you know, that's what sold me. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is obviously a wonderful place to be, but when, when you have, you know, people that are on that line and, and you know what, I've, I've been fortunate to be around a lot of good coaches, a lot of good programs. And, and, you know, the one common theme is, is strive for excellence in everything you do and, and don't settle for anything else. And, uh, you know, it's great to be around people who are driven, uh, organized, have a passion, and and really that's that's what you can ask for as, as, a, as a college football coach. Coach, we only have about one minute, but really quick, I was up at a basketball game a few weeks back, and I saw you, really cool thing, you take your team, here comes the whole football team in suits to support the basketball team. Obviously, there was a big basketball game last night, CSU came out on the losing end, but it was a fun game, Larry Eustace is doing big things. How important is it for for that whole all the athletic programs together to kind of unite and, and bring CSU to this this larger stage you're talking about? Well, you know, I tell you, there's fantastic programs here up and down, and and some great coaches, and and you know, one of the things it's a real family atmosphere, and and you know, in our case, it was a Friday night before a Saturday game, and and uh, you know, between meetings, I I think it's important to go out and support every sport that we have, and. Uh, the way it worked out, we were also able to go to, to the volleyball game when the Hilbert won uh, the, the Mountain West Championship and, and same kind of deal on a Friday night. And, and you know, just supporting everything that goes ar- along here is really important for everybody. Hey, Jim, do you know the date of the CSU-Alabama game? I don't yet, no. Okay. I, I haven't seen the final. There's some games moving around that I know to kind of get it taken care of, but you know, I was able to actually see them. I was in New York uh, at uh, Greg Myers' uh, induction into the Football Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame, and and uh, one of my former players won an award there, and and uh, you know it was it was outstanding. So I was able to visit with them, and and right now just kind of the final details are getting worked out. All right, hey coach, we appreciate your time tonight, and uh, th- I think that really excites the the CSU fan base. And g- uh, good luck on the recruiting trail. Well, thanks so much, and look forward to talking again. All right, thanks a bunch. Jim McElwain, head football coach at Colorado State. 